What is going on everybody? I am back today to talk about a film that was released this year and it was released a little earlier in the year and I'm trying right now to get caught up on a lot of films that from earlier in the year that I missed because when it gets towards the end of the year I love making my best of the year list and I love trying to get in as many of the new releases of the year as I can and this is a movie I've seen talked about quite a bit since its release. I didn't really know a whole lot about it other than I read some early reviews that said it gets very darkly comedic which if a lot of you out there know me the inclusion of dark comedy in films it, it's one of my favorite things ever I love when movies can get really dark and strange and convey a really powerful message and the movie I'm gonna be discussing today has a lot of dark comedy in it and the movie I'm gonna be discussing is called sick of myself sick of myself is directed by Christopher Borgley Signe and Thomas are in an unhealthy competitive relationship that takes a vicious turn when Thomas suddenly breaks through as a contemporary artist. In response, Signe makes a desperate attempt to regain her status by creating a new persona hell-bent on attracting attention and sympathy. Early on, I just want to say it's really hard to talk about this film without kind of giving away the lifestyle choice that our lead character decides to take on. And it doesn't necessarily spoil anything about the film, but if you want to go into this thing 100% blind stop my video and go watch it otherwise I'm gonna talk about it right now so as the plot description states we're introduced to Signe and her boyfriend Thomas there's this really funny scenario they're at this restaurant celebrating someone's birthday they ask for a bottle of wine and they end up just running out of the restaurant and stealing the bottle of wine and we get very early on that the two of them are really competitive in their relationship because Thomas is this artist who is just starting to grow his career Signe wants something about her life that is going to be important and that people will recognize her for and she wants people to care about her essentially she feels isolated and alone and like she doesn't really matter and she just wants people to care that she exists so through a set of circumstances she finds a news article about a Russian pill that people took that caused them to get this skin disorder and so she decides to order them off the black market and take them in large quantities so that she can develop an illness so that people will start to care about her and it is just one of the most wild surreal strange movies I have watched in a while I absolutely loved this thing this is 100% my style of movie it's absolutely wild it's very funny but it's also sad when you think about it. it it's incredibly sad to think that a person could get so isolated so alone and they just want people to care about them or the things that they care about that they're willing to go to this length to just get noticed it's hilarious and it, they pick a person who is really unlikable you really don't like her character and it's hard to feel any sympathy for her because of the lengths that she goes to to garner this attention and it all starts at the beginning of the movie when she's at her job at a coffee shop and this woman gets bit by a dog and she really realizes the level of attention that this woman got and then when she tells her story and she comes home covered in blood she notices how many people ask her questions and say oh are you all right we can't believe you went through this is everything going to be okay and she feels that level of attention and just wants to keep growing it she even gets to a point before she takes those pills that she tries to mess with a dog to get it to bite her on the face and it's just absolutely absurd the lengths that this woman is willing to go to just simply to get compassion from other human beings and it's kind of a sad statement on our society as well about how self-involved people are and they're so concerned with their own livelihoods and the things going on with themselves that they don't look out for other people and don't care about other people and I thought approaching that through this really uh, extreme story that's obviously very overblown this reminded me at moments of a Yorgos Lanthimos film just with how extreme it gets. Yorgos Lanthimos has this very 
otherworldly quality to his films where like the ridiculous things happening feel very much out of the line of anything normal like it's just hard for your brain to process it this feels like someone could do this but that it would be very ridiculous for someone to do this type of a thing i really loved all the performances in this movie especially from our two lead actors that play signy and thomas i think they were both fantastically casted i think their chemistry is great they hate each other to the core even though they're in this relationship you could tell they kind of just coexist and they are always trying to one-up one another which makes for a very interesting watch i love when movies have really tense relationships between the lead characters and i think the way the director approaches this is just so brilliant and i think with the society we live in now with you know youtube tiktok any any sort of social media influencing that people just want to get famous and will try to do anything that they can possibly do to garner some type of attention for themselves and to see someone willing to take these pills that are literally mutilating their body just in order to get some level of attention it's like I said it's hilarious but it's also really sad and I think it takes a very special type of director to convey something so disturbing and outlandish that really sticks with you and when I finished this movie I could not stop thinking about it just because of how ridiculous it is and just how well executed it is I really loved how the tension continued to amp up throughout the film to just like keep watching this character make mistake after mistake after mistake just to see how far she would actually go and the way that she was able to manipulate people around her and to and you know she wanted to garner sympathy for herself but then you get to a point where if they're not paying attention to you for this thing like you have to try to find another way to get attention to where you're eventually going to isolate yourself from everyone. And I thought that was a really interesting element to the film. And I just had an absolute blast watching this movie. I thought that it was so well executed. It's definitely going to make my top films of the year list. It's absolutely absurd. And this is my glowing recommendation to go watch Sick of Myself. It is fantastic. So have you seen Sick of Myself? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was fantastic. I cannot wait to revisit it again in the future and I think you'll really enjoy it too. As always, if you like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.